uh, Sherban, how are you? Sherban nice. Gourdet from the Volkswagen Group in, the, in North America and uh, we're in uh, the full uh, line drive here in California and uh, we're driving one of the most exciting cars that the Volkswagen Group produces all over the world, <laughs> the Sirocco. It um, I know you're in charge here for another product that is very successful, right? Like the Passat here in the States. But uh, I mean, thank you for the opportunity first for driving the Sirocco. It's an amazing car. Can you tell us a little bit about this, the history about this car? Of course, um, in North America, we actually have offered the, the Volkswagen Scirocco in the past. At this point, the current car that we're in is, is the current platform, and this is not offered in the United States. As uh, I'm sure many enthusiasts know, we've, we've considered bringing the Scirocco to the market for quite a while, and it's, uh, um, as you said, it's probably the sexiest and the nicest, most exciting product that, that we offer in the lineup. We had to really consider the balance between GTI, which is also truly iconic in the market, and offering this car. And um, from a business case standpoint, it just didn't make sense to bring both cars at the same time. Yeah, I know. But the but exciting <laughs> part is you'll get an opportunity <laughs> exactly, to, to see it. how amazing this car truly is. Yeah, and can you tell us a little bit about this right now? Absolutely. So what we're driving today is actually not just a Scirocco, but it's a Scirocco R. Wow, so it's like top of the line. Absolutely. It uses the same engine as what is used in the Golf R, which we have in the United States of America. The difference, however, is the Golf R is a all-wheel drive system. This is only a front-wheel drive system. But you'll see when you get out on the road that it absolutely gives it the performance and it gives it the fun and excitement, the acceleration, the driving dynamics. Um, it has uh, automatic transmission. What about the engine? The engine is a 2.0T, the same engine as what's used in the Golf R. Um, the, R the transmission in this vehicle is DSG transmission, which is actually not currently offered in the Golf R in the United States. Is that a dual clutch transmission? It's a dual clutch transmission, six speed dual clutch transmission. So obviously a very fast car, uh, but a very drivable car too. I mean, a lot of uh, good engineering here in this, uh, in this vehicle, right? And, and that's the thing that, and now you're really able to feel that yeah. performance. But that's what we're able to build with this DSG transmission. So you put a, a very exciting engine, a 2.0T, with a nice turbo, it gives you the flexibility of the fun to drive, fuel economy and fun to drive. And then with the transmission, what's really neat about it is you're now in drive mode, which is a normal transmission, it's an automatic transmission, and it does everything like an automatic transmission would do. You click it one down into sport mode, and it now will watch what happens as you're coming into the corner and you're slowing down. It will downshift for you to keep you into the right gear as you come off the corner to give you the and power. And it holds the changes a little bit longer and they give more power uh, when you start. Exactly. It gives you very crisp shift points and it gives you the power when you need to have it coming out of the apex. Excellent. And uh, so this car is uh, sold where? In Germany, in Europe, uh, all over? The, re the rest of the world except the US? The car is sold in most markets around the world, not in all markets, but it is sold in all over Western Europe, it is sold in China, um, it is sold in, in many, most markets outside of the United States. It, this model has been done, I mean, I remember when I was in high school, I was in Kansas around the 80s, and uh, people had the Sirocco's and were like very, very popular. And I guess it just was a case, as you were saying, that the sales didn't balance up with the rest of the portfolio of the, of the brand. But uh, it's been it's been uh, in, in 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 place in the lineup for Volkswagen for a long time. It actually was, and what we initially had the, was the Scirocco in the United States was then replaced in the U.S. a different nameplate, but it was a very similar vehicle, the Volkswagen Corrado. Oh, Corrado, uh, yeah, I also remember offered that. you this very sexy and aggressive styling. Um, and with the end of the Corrado, Volkswagen really pushed its efforts and maintained the GTI as the iconic performance hatchback and as you know GTI has actually done very very well in the United States. Yeah actually no, not because you're here I'm uh, on a Volkswagen trip but uh, the GTI, uh, GTI is one of my favorite cars I mean I really like that car because it's very I mean very practical it has a lot of uh, a lot of space to to drive around. Right and right. Yeah. Um, the GTI is actually, in, in, in our opinion, it, re it really epitomizes what Volkswagen is all about. It gives you the fun and the performance, but it also gives you the flexibility and the usability of a hatchback. It 
like you said, it's probably one of the best packages of offering fun, exciting, and usability. Yeah, and with the diesel engine, it's even better. I mean, like that's an amazing car because it's like a mileage. Uh, it's amazing for that car, kind of car, right? You should, after this, try the next generation GTI, which is also available here. Today. So you think I'm gonna fall in love more than that with that that Sirocco? <laughs> uh, I, I think you should make that decision on your own. <laughs> yeah. The, anyways, I can get it here in the States, so I really appreciate the opportunity to drive a little bit uh, on it today. So very, thank you very much for the opportunity. My pleasure. And uh, we're going to keep enjoying, and uh, maybe one day we'll get it here in the States. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, sir.